Hey everybody, it's Thursday, I mean it's time for your Thursday thought, and I thought that over the next few weeks, maybe with a couple of interruptions, but over the next few weeks, I would cover the contract to buy and sell. It is the, it is the contract that um, you will fill out as a buyer to make an offer on a property, and it's the contract that you'll receive as a seller uh, if you are selling your property. So it's a pretty important document and kind of important to know what's in it. So it's broken into a series of sections and I thought we'd cover, you know, two, three, four, five sections per video over the next uh, five or six weeks to kind of cover all of the aspects of the contract by itself. So we are going to jump in and we're going to cover sections one, two, and three today. Um, and there may be some of the most important sections um, and um, but they're also kind of a little bit longer. That's why we're only doing three of them. And so first one is actually pretty simple. It's basically just the agreement. Basically it says that this is agreement made, uh, this is an agreement and it's legally binding. Um, and then number two is where it gets a little more in depth because it talks about the parties and the property. And so it will go on to list who's buying the property, who's selling the property, how the buyers are buying the property. And what I mean by that is the possession. And I did a video a few weeks ago on the different ways that uh, purchasers, buyers can take possession of a property. Um, it's going to uh, have inclusions and exclusions. So inclusions may be things like water softeners or smoke and CO, CO detectors. It could be you know, hot tubs or appliances or all of those things could be inclusions. And then exclusions are the opposite of that. Things that the seller wants to exclude from the sale of the property. And so sometimes that's all the things I just mentioned, uh, a hot tub, maybe even they get really specific and say, you know, we're not going to sell the pool table or um, whatever, it, whatever it might be. We're going to be taking the chandelier down um, out of the dining room because it was my great grandmother's chandelier. So, they, so number two, again, deals with um, parties and the property, property address and the, uh, how the parties are going to take possession, the inclusions, the exclusions. In addition to that, we don't get into this too often but it also deals with rights. And what I mean by that is water rights, mineral rights, if there's a well, if there's not a well, and what kind of, um, you know, there are some places in Colorado where there are still stock ponds on properties where you can water livestock out of, and those types of rights fall fall into this section too, because we're talking about the parties and the properties, and all of that deals with the property. Uh, number three is the dates and deadlines metric. Again, arguably one of the uh, uh, most important sections. And it's because the section that gets changed the most, and so it's the uh, it's the section that if a well written contract is submitted with uh, realistic dates and deadlines, it saves a lot of work and a lot of stress throughout the out the transaction. So basically, we just start at the top and we work our way through this date matrix, and it's everything from earnest money to title to HOA docs to um, seller property disclosures and everything through the contract, the inspection, the inspection objection, the inspection resolution, the appraisal, the appraisal objection, bada bing, all the way down through, all the way to we get to closing, and we set time frames. And every, trans every transaction is a little different, <clears throat> and every buyer and seller's time frames are a little different. So trying to write an offer or uh, receiving an offer and trying to get the dates to match all parties and match the transaction, it's, uh, it is a... Um, an art form and a science, and so it's uh, it's arguably the most most uh, you know one of the most uh, significant spots of the contract. And next week we'll, we'll get into section four, which is dealing with price, and we'll go on from there. Um, but those are the first three sections of the contract to buy and sell. So take care, guys. We'll see you next week for next week's Thursday thought. See ya.